Being in the fog typically means being a little spacey, a little flighty, maybe not paying attention. But there's a group of innovators around the world who love being in the fog. Their lives get an assist because of the damp mist. In parts of the world like Morocco, where water can be too expensive or hard to get, inventor Peter Troutwein has developed a sustainable way to use nature in order to nurture. His Cloud Fisher Fog Collector allows villagers better access to water for drinking and agriculture. Peter spoke to me from his home in Munich. Hi, Peter. Thank you for joining us on Innovation Nation. Hello, Mo. Please tell us, what exactly is a fog collector? We call our fog collector the Cloud Fisher. The cloud fisher can extract water from the air, or more precisely, from fog. Peter discovered the idea while visiting Africa a few years ago. He'd seen fog collectors in the region, but was disappointed to see many of them were damaged by winds. Peter used his skills as an industrial designer to develop the system, which can withstand winds of up to 75 miles per hour. Our collectors have a support frame made of steel pipes and stand 20 feet high. Attached to the frame are plastic support grids that hold three-dimensional high-tech plastic woven mesh nets, which are held by heavy-duty rubber expanders. A region needs plenty of fog and wind in order for a fog collector to be effective. How does the cloud fisher provide us with the water? The wind drives the fog into the vertically suspended nets. The droplets are caught in the mesh and merge into larger drops, which then fall into the collecting gutter below. From there, the fog water flows through pipes into a reservoir. Once that water is extracted, and in some cases mixed with groundwater, it is then disinfected with a UV light. The water is then ready for drinking and feeding crops. In Morocco, we collected an average throughout the year of 5.8 gallons of water per square meter of plastic mesh per fog day. That's enough water for 13 villages with more than 1,100 people each. Well, thank you, Peter, for bringing us your important innovation. Thank you, Mo.